So um, I am going to end the show, but I want to talk about something. And I made some notes for myself here because this is important. I don't have a script or anything, but I just have some notes of things I want to talk about because this is this is very important to me. And it's not often that I get to jump on the old fod solo. So I want to take a moment to to talk about something that's that's really important to me. <clears throat> and frankly, very important to us as a company. And uh, this, this, is, this is important. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I've worked very hard since we started this show uh, to uh, ensure that politics stay out of our programming. It's not something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, I just think that politics in general has no place in the content we produce. I, I want escapism, entertainment. Um, early on, I know there were some bits that snuck past the goalie, and whether they were funny or not, which really is really my only litmus test for whether something uh, enters the show, I just don't want that type of content in my shows. That's politics. And no matter how big we grow, I'm not interested in using our platform to, to push our political beliefs and ideals. So you can be rest assured that that is not going to happen with the Glass Cannon Network. But what I am interested in is using our ever-growing platform uh, as a way to make the world a better place. And, uh, and that, to me, begins and ends with inclusivity. Okay, so as we continue to grow as a company and as we, we venture into putting on large scale conventions, which is a huge endeavor for our company and for the growth of our company, I want everyone, regardless of their gender, their race, their religion, their sexual orientation to feel welcome in the niche, to feel like they have a home at our collective gaming table. That's so important to me that everyone feels safe and welcome. And as we branch out into new content that involves more and more guest stars and new voices, I want guest stars that are people of color. I want guest stars that are LGBTQ+. I want new and different voices than just five heterosexual white guys. Because even though you may love those five crazy white dudes, supporting and incorporating voices that are different than ours is going to make a far richer experience. And at the end of the day, it's going to make a far superior product. You know, that's important to me. That's important to all of us. And, and, and I don't know, we get a lot of messages that just really bum me out. It's kind of like, okay, you know, if we have guests on that want to clarify their pronouns, we are all about it. I'm not going to force everyone to clarify their pronouns on the show, but if we have guests on that want to do that, we are going to uplift them and we're going to do our best to use the correct pronouns because it's important to them. And it's important to the myriad listeners out there to whom pronouns, the correct pronouns, are vitally important. So that's something we want to support. That's not us being woke. That's us being caring human beings. We got Pride Month coming up in a couple months, and I got something really exciting planned, something I want to do for the past couple years, and I just haven't been able to do it, and this year it's finally going to happen. And every year I wish a happy Pride Month uh, to our listeners, and uh, every time I'll get a couple messages about how we're getting polit political. Listen, I'm not... I'm not here to tell you you're wrong or you're stupid or you're an idiot for, for thinking this or that. I just don't think that type of aggressive baiting uh, uh, of people whose opinions differ from yours is really constructive. I also don't only need people listening to our show who 100% believe the things that we do. I don't think that anything creative ever comes out of an echo chamber and, and, and no real change can happen if, if two people with differing views just tune each other out. It's not going to happen. But we don't see this type of support as political because it isn't. We see it as living true to our core values as human beings, as our, as our values as, as entrepreneurs. We want everyone to feel like they're welcome in our community, in the nation. Now, I know there are people listening to me today that are going to pull their subscriptions or send me an angry message about how detrimental it is for a CEO uh, to touch upon what have sadly become very divisive topics. But I'd rather be true to who we are and to our mission than to be silent, because silence truly is complicity. Things need to change. I don't think there's anyone out there that's like, oh, things are pretty good in the world right now. This, this, this is just not the case. And I want to be the, I said it, I said it a hundred times in the stream, I want to be the biggest RPG uh, entertainment network in the world. And, 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 and when 
Not if that happens, but when that happens, our reach is going to grow even further, and uh, we'll have more people listening to us than we have now. And if we're not using that reach for good, I don't know, I just feel like uh, we've failed as a company. I've certainly failed as a leader, and I'll tell you what, I've failed as someone I want my boys to look up to, and any other future children that I have. That's... That's all I, you know, I, I obviously I, I want to make a difference in the world, but I want to be a good role model. You know, I want them to be like, my dad, he worked really hard to get where he got. And when he got there, he did a lot of good. 